Hey guys, in this lecture we will understand the difference between abstract classes and interfaces. Now since you have learnt about abstract classes and you have also learnt about interfaces and if you go for an interview you correctly answer what say abstract class and you correctly answer what say interface the obvious third question will be what is the difference between abstract classes and interfaces and this is one of the most commonly asked interview question across India across the globe. So let's understand what is the difference between abstract classes and interfaces and then we will see when to use what. So here are some theoretical points explaining the differences between abstract classes and interfaces. So let's go through one by one. Now an abstract class doesn't provide full abstraction but an interface does provide full abstraction. This means abstract classes can have non-abstract members too. What do we mean by that? Let's look into a demo. Now I am following the same example what we learnt in abstract class demo. So you need to watch that video first before you continue to this video. All I have is a abstract class employee that has a abstract method give presentation and the manager class and the developer class is providing the overridden implementation of that give presentation method. So now you can see a abstract class can also have non abstract members that is the swipe in method is a non abstract member. So this class employee is a abstract class but it does not provide full abstraction. However, if we define an interface, say interface, sorry, and we define say two methods m1, m2. So both of these methods will be abstract means you need to provide the implementation for these methods. You cannot have non abstract members or you uh, cannot have those methods that does not need implementation in interfaces. So a interface is fully abstract. You need to provide the implementation to all the members of interface. So let's go to our, our slides. And this is what our first point says. Now this coming to second point using apps using abstract classes we can not achieve multiple inheritance but using an interface we can achieve multiple inheritance. So as I have told you before multiple inheritance is not possible through classes and abstract class is a class. So I cannot achieve multiple inheritance with the help of abstract class. However, I can always implement multiple interfaces here. Say suppose I have a another interface with the name 2. So I can always put a comma and make it implement with this interface 2. And it's giving me an error because I have not implemented the interface. So I can implement it and make that error go away. Now let's move back to our slides. Now this is a very interesting thing. Uh, we cannot declare a member field in an interface. We can do it in abstract class. So I can not have a integer i declaration in initialized to 0 in a interface. Or I just cannot have a declaration also. See it gives me an error. However, I can do this in a interface. Oh sorry abstract class. Let's move back to our slide. We cannot use any access modifier that is public, private, protected, internal, etc. Because within an interface by default everything is public and this this I have explained you in my previous lecture too. So quickly we will see it. I will make this method as private. The moment I do this I get an error. But in abstract class I can have it private variable. Also there is no point to making it private because the variables are the fields are private by default. And look at this last point an interface member cannot be defined using the keyword static virtual abstract or sealed. So that's obvious I cannot have any keyword used inside a interface. Let's try with a static and I am giving the I am getting the same error. 
However, I can do this in abstract classes. I can make this method as virtual. However, you cannot use virtual and abstract together. It gives me error. So these are the theoretical points uh, which you need to remember the difference between abstract classes and interfaces. So now the big question when to use what and this is why next slide when to use what. So let me quickly explain you this through an example and then we will come back to these points. Let me get get rid of these interfaces what I have defined. And let me get rid of this. Okay, so my class is back to normal again. And now you can see I have to mandate this method give presentation I have declared it as abstract method and this goes for every employee of my organization that means if my manager class overrides it he needs to give the presentation also the developer class needs to give the presentation if it overrides it that means we need to uh, we are mandating the give presentation method for the all the employees of organization now say suppose in our organization there is manager giving a presentation there is a developer giving a presentation and also there is a guest speaker invited to our organization who needs to give the presentation. Let me quickly make the class of that speaker. Speaker or say guest speaker. Fine. Now is this guest speaker a employee of my organization? No. So I don't have to inherit this guest speaker from employee or employee class. This guest speaker won't have employee ID. Obviously he, has, he will have a name but it will not be present in the database of my organization. Also this guest speaker don't have to swipe in into my organization. So since he is not an employee, I cannot inherit this guest speaker from employee class. So now how we will mandate this give presentation method to my guest speaker? I will make an interface and make that interface implement, make this guest speaker class implement that interface. So let me do this and then I will explain you this. I give presentation. And let me implement it. So I have de declared an interface which has a give presentation method and my guest speaker class implements this interface and then it mandates him to give the presentation. So these are two different things that means my guest speaker is not an employee so I don't need the employee abstract class to be put in use. Uh, or I don't want my guest speaker to inherit from employee class because my guest speaker is not an employee of my organization. I just need my guest speaker to follow a contract to give presentation. So I am using this I give presentation interface. Whereas for managers and developer class, I can use this abstract class too. Now it's not mandatory, mandatory that for manager and developer you need to make an abstract class and mandate it. You can also make manager implement this interface right. But see I can also make this happen. This is also correct. So whenever I need a parent child relationship with some properties some fields and some mandatory methods we use abstract classes. And whenever I just need to mandate the methods, I don't need any fields, I don't need any properties to be inherited. I just use interface for manda mandating the methods. So therefore, whenever you need to have a parent child relationship, use abstract classes. And whenever you need to have a has a relationship or you just don't need to worry about the implementation, you just need to provide the definition of method use always use interfaces. I hope this clears your point. So let's get back to our slides and this is what my slide says. So if you look at the last last second point it is considered good practice by developer to use interfaces in most cases. So as I've told you it was not wrong for me 
for my manager class to inherit with this interface I give presentation. So this is also very good practice to always use interfaces. Now abstract class denotes is a relationship that means a employee is a manager is a manager an employee is a developer and interfaces denote a has a relationship that means a interface has this many number of methods and you need to implement them and both abstract classes and interfaces can take part in runtime polymorphism so thank you guys for listening this lecture i hope you understood keep rocking and have a great day thank you